We have a story out of Kannapolis, North Carolina, and some of you know where that's at. So the Kannapolis city school system has apologized to a parent after a child was given a homework assignment that the system says was inappropriate. Now the parent posted the assignment on social media. It was given out by a teacher at the Kannapolis middle school, a section on the assignment asked students to compare the values of slaves with white people. So let's put that up so we all can look at it together. So as you can see, how many slaves would be needed to equal at least four white people? Now, the reason why they're doing this, they're basing this off of the three-fifths compromise in the Constitution uh, Convention of 1787, where three out of every five slaves in the United States were counted as people. Okay, so we're three-fifths of a human being. So the, all right, so that's, that's the basis of this. How many slaves would you have if you equal two and two-fifths whites, okay? How many slaves would be needed to equal nine white people in counting the population? How many slaves would you need to equal two white people in counting the population? And number 10, how many slaves would you have if you equal one four-fifth whites? So as you can see, you see last night, as I'm talking, speaking with my lady, he said, she tells me about the assignment that her friend's son received and told me the middle school. He said, again, public schools are nothing but white supremacy. I'm not arguing there. There's no argument from me. I mean, these people are obsessed with, with slavery, obsessed with the plantation. They won't stop talking about that situation at all. They have to sit up there and indoctrinate you into racism, white supremacy, and try to make black children feel less than over and over and over again. Like once again, I've been doing these stories for years. I'm gonna keep saying that. And, it, and, and every day, every time, it don't matter what part of the country. Now this is North Carolina. You know, it, it, you know another time it'll be Oklahoma, Texas. It'll be California. It'll be, it's all over the place. It's so many stories that I can remember with these schools. California, the teachers had a noose and they said it's a joke. Things like that. Children, they messing with their hair. You got these homework assignments. You know, the previous, you know, video that I've done on, on African Diaspora News Channel that we reported today, asking students to set your price for a slave. This is, this is what these people do. But, but once again, cause, cause you know, I'm, I'm gonna start laying more challenges to the, to the Captain Black America uh, person. What are you doing about this? What are you doing about this abuse to our children? What are you doing about it? Because you're not doing nothing for what I'm seeing, but just attacking other black people. Black people that are trying to do some things, move around. If they're on the continent, they coming back, they, they connected in business. Sometimes they want to start a school. Things in life is bigger than even what you're doing. See, to me, it's more important our children's education and our children's well-being than some of the other things that y'all even talking about. Every day our children being sent to racism, white supremacy. But you worry about chasing the Democrats down and what they got going on and giving you what you want. These Democrats ain't discussing none of this. Why don't we run up on these Democrats or Republicans and ask them why are our children in our schools are being given assignments saying um, about selling of slaves or how many slaves you, it would take to make up a white person. That's the things that we need to be asking. This racism in education, racism in economics, when it comes to the banks, different things like that. Selling of cars, jacking up the interest rates on black people, jacking up the prices. But white people, they don't have those issues and problems because of the color of their skin. It's so many different things. That's why it gets me frustrated with some people in, in the direction they go on and then they want to attack you act like they know something. I can't stand what I, what I call smart, dumb, um, I would like to say another word, people. Can't stand them. You're so smart, you think you know everything, but you don't know nothing. You're just spinning the hamster wheel. You're moving and ain't going nowhere. Why children are getting these kind of homework assignments. Middle school children. Previous video I've done, fifth grade children. And these are our children. 
So please show me how you're going to fix this. Please show me that. Cause I would love to see, Hey, I'm the news guy. I'm not the political uh, uh, action committee. I don't lead political movements. I stay in my lane as news. I can speak on politics as a news guy. I can do that. But those of you who are into that and you say you go engage, please tell me how you're going to fix this. You have the information, you know about it. Now I like to see how you can fix it because I'm definitely interested in see what you're going to do about it. Cause this is ridiculous. I mean, on the individual level, thank God my child will not deal with this. Thank God. But I don't just care about my child. I care about all our children and all our children need to be dealing with this crap. Well, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this particular story. Uh, once again, another white supremacist teacher, and that is white supremacist. How do you think that's okay? Ain't nothing about that's okay at all. You can't sit up there and explain that to me. Let me tell you something. When I say white supremacist, I don't mean you in the Ku Klux Klan. I don't mean you in the alt-right. I don't even mean you in neo-Nazi. That's a white supremacist extremist to me, those people. A white supremacist is anyone that believes in the control and domination of white people on all the nine areas of activity as described by Neely Fuller. That is a white supremacist. And the white supremacist I'm talking about don't wear no robes, don't wear anything. And, and they feel this is okay. This is so sickening to me, especially messing with children of all people to mess with.